Well, it's Halloween, you crazy miscast miscreants. And for all you babysitters out there, get ready to get scared by William Shatner and his smaller than normal knife. This week on Miscast Entertainment Movie Reviews. Yeah, get him, Woody. <laughs> this is Miscast! Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Boat. Welcome back, you Halloween bastards, to another episode of Miscast Movie Reviews. And this week, we're talking about Halloween, and it's our non-spoiler review. Uh, so, you don't have to worry about anything but this guy burping. With your host, JJ. He's a furry. I am kind, I am smart, and I am important. <laughs> and Rick from the Citadel. Oh my god, we got Spartans to the left of me, pandas to the right of me, what dimension are we in? <laughs> we're in the Miscast dimension, ladies and gentlemen, and right now it is time for some Halloween. Halloween 2018. Mm -hmm, it's a mm -hmm. fresh take. It yeah. kills all the sequels. No more sequels in this movie. That's right, Morty. You've entered a different dimension. <laughs> yeah, is it a different dimension? I feel like it is, yeah. actually. Growl. <laughs> it's got an 81% critic score, so the critics are on board with this. <laughs> Let's get out of here. These furries are bothering me. You guys are going to get furried later. Oh. Man, you got fur dripping off of you like some kind of damn jizz, all, man. Those are all my pandejos. <laughs> Bandejos. You're covered in that shit. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a pendejo is, it's a uh, panda and then pendejo together. It's like a panda pubic hair. So it's got an 81% critic score, which means the critics are on board, like I said, and an 80% audience score. The fans love it. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what the really crazy thing about what? this is? It's only a budget of $15 million to make this entire movie. That's it. Yeah, the first movie was only a budget of 300000 so it's right on board in the same, like, if you, you know, adjust for inflation, it's in the same kind of place as the original. Nice. So it really is like the original in a lot more ways than, than we thought. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis. She's back as Laurie Strode. She's got PTSD. Uh, it's got Judy Greer. I have no idea who that is, but she played a good daughter. She's been in several comedies. She's been in uh, Jurassic World, Archer, and the Ant-Man movies. And she was also in 27 Dresses. 27 Ways to Awesome. Oh. My God. Leave me alone. So it's got the original Michael Myers in two shots. Ooh. Nick Castle. Wow. Two shots, two shots. I think, you know, his name <laughs> is cooler than the, the actual yeah, <laughs> shots yeah. of the movie. Nick so. Castle. All right. So what do you think? Non-spoiler. Oh, spoiler, spoiler, non-spoiler. Danny McBride does an amazing job at revitalizing this dead franchise. After several low-effort sequels and Rob Zombie's attempt to reboot the franchise, it's Danny McFucking Bride who finally understood <laughs> the elements of Halloween <laughs> the fans were really craving. McBride injects good amount of humor into the movie while still keeping an enormous amount of tension throughout. It's also a very feminine, like, empowering film. But you'll have to wait for my spoiler review to hear a little bit more about that. All right. Oh, the tease. I like it. General thoughts. General thoughts. Pandas uh, and Ricks. Uh, well, all right. So it was directed by David Gordon Green, who did Eastbound and Down and all those uh, uh, Vice Principals and Your Highness, all those shows with Danny McBride. And Danny McBride wrote this with him. Um, it was... I am kind of on the fence about it. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was terribly original at all. Um, I think a lot of the stuff that you're reading about out there right now is kind of, I think it holds a lot of merit, like a lot of fan service, but not a whole lot of uh, um, attention to maybe bringing a new story, uh, anything really new and creative to it, personally. Mm -hmm. That was my personal take on it. So um, some good gory kills, some good violent kills, but I, again, I felt like it was stuff I had seen before. So. But a lot of throwbacks to the uh, to the original movie. The throwbacks is what I loved about this. Yes, yes, because <laughs> you you need a in order to be in a Hollywood in order to like get a, ho a Halloween movie. Yeah, you need those elements that you loved about the first one. So there's always like a there's always like a little bit of a mix, right. you know. And there's always like that you, you have to hit that right balance of being nostalgic without giving people the same old story again. Yeah, and I agree with that. I f I felt like maybe there was a little too much. Too many throwbacks to it and too many um, recreations of, of murders that we had seen previously. So that's kind of what I was like. At dinner, I was like, oh, I kind of wish I had seen something really new and like really, really fresh to it. Yeah. And there was some, there was some here and there. Um, but uh, for me, um, 
it was good. It was entertaining. I had fun. Um, but uh, I kind of wanted to see a little more originality to it. Really, I, I, as a fan of the original movie, I loved everything that they that okay. they did in this movie. I really there was really very little that I disliked about okay. this well, this movie. All right, good. Uh, yeah, you have to wait for the spoilers for me to get into it. Yeah, more, more details. I can't about wait. That, so. I guess this is going to be an, a very short non-spoiler because uh, I guess everything we have to say is pretty much spoilers. Yeah. That's what it's like. I'm struggling right now. Yeah, because, it's, yeah. it's tough. I yeah. kind of think you already went a little bit into spoiler territory by bringing up the Easter eggs. So, but we didn't say what. Wait, you didn't, didn't say, say what. what. You didn't, didn't say, say what. what. But we're just telling you there are a lot of right, Easter eggs. Right. Right. Um, well, I think everybody already kind of knew that already. You know. There did be, they? Though? There would be I some know. throwbacks. I didn't know. No. Like hmm. I didn't. I didn't know what this no, was. No, just me. I knew that. Okay. You're clairvoyant there, wow. sir. I read stuff. You are Rick. I read. Can I call you Claire from now on? No, you may not. I uh I loved it, man. I went in there. Actually, I'm the one on the show that thought, thought that we shouldn't even see it. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, fuck that shit. Yeah. Uh, but I really once the music started and it had like the original kind of opening. Oh yeah. I was sold. Like I, I I was a kid again. I was I was in my zone and man, that music really it uh, really does it for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It immediately takes you into it. So I was sold. I I thought it was a good. I'm glad they erased the sequels. So yep. for anybody out there, it's like piss that they got rid of H2O <clears throat> and uh, Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett, uh, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's I mean, one of the more popular ones in the franchise. Oh, it's so like bad. H2O. Oh, it's I terrible. Hate it. I, hate I hate it. It, it got yeah. campy in yeah. the wrong way. I, d- I didn't like, you know, if, you know, we're going to spend a lot of, a little bit of time talking about the other ones. Like I hated all of them. I think I like yeah. too. I like I like what Rob Zombie tried to do. He tried to make Michael Myers a sort sure. of like real, like visceral, like right. big freaking like killer. Okay. I thought that was great. And honestly, yeah, there's was. a there's a lot of like comedic scenes where the characters are just talking in uh, in both in both of the Rob Zombie movies that I think are like really funny. Yeah. But as far as like making a cohesive uh, movie, they, they weren't they weren't very good films. No, the second one was a good that was a good one. I liked that. And yeah. I thought you should have ended there, you know? And obviously, it was a time where you had to have sequels out the ass. I mean, yeah. there were jokes even in, like, Back to the Future in 1985 or 1989, uh, Back to the Future 2, where they were making jokes about, like, Jaws 20,000 or right, whatever. Right, right, right. So this was the time when they were making sequels out the ass. And even the third sequel was, like, you know, wasn't well, even, it three. wasn't even Michael Myers. It's an underrated movie, though. It's If it wasn't, you know, on its own... It was a fun movie. I, I Halloween enjoyed 3? Halloween 3. Halloween 3, 3 is brilliant. It's I awesome. love Halloween right. 3. But I it's think, not Michael Myers. Right, and that's where people... It's that title, was disconnect title for only. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's our, that's, I guess that's our uh, opinion right now. I guess you're going to have to tune in for the uh, spoiler review because we're about to get into that. Big time. Yes, Big let's time. go. Big yeah. Time. All right, you masked bastards out there. It's time to head on over to our channel if you're not already there and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that bell next to it to get notified of all of our future content so that you're cool like the rest of us. Who's ready for the purge? I'm ready for the purge. Let's purge some. I'm definitely ready for the freaking purge! Let's purge! This is Let's purge. Get out of here, Morty. I gotta go to the third dimension so we get out of here. <laughs> oh. All right, you crazy bastards out there. Get on over to our other channel, MiscastEntertainment.com, where we have amazing articles all the time. You can pick up some of our awesome-ass merch. <laughs> And until next time, peace. Pendejos. Pendejos. <laughs> Get it? It's now on your pendejos. beard. The, the pendejos on your beard. I got pendejos. <laughs> I got pendejos on now my beard. it's on your tit. You have a pendejos. You got pendejos. <laughs> You're getting panda. Oh my god. Panda's all over. You can get that shit out of your booty.